O Lord, open our lips, and we will declare your praise. We read together firstly from Psalm 22, beginning of verse 22, reading down to verse 31. When your people meet, I will praise you, Lord. All who worship the Lord now praise him. You belong to Jacob's family and to the people of Israel, so fear and honour the Lord. The Lord doesn't hate or despise the helpless in all of their troubles. When I cried out, he listened and did not turn away. When your people meet, you fill my heart with your praises, Lord, and everyone will see you keep your promises to me. The poor will eat and be full, and all who worship you will be thankful and live in hope. Everyone on this earth will remember you, Lord. People all over the world will turn and worship you because you are in control, the ruler of all nations. All who are rich and have more than enough will bow down to you, Lord. Even those who are dying and almost in the grave will come and bow down. In the future, everyone will worship and learn about you, our Lord. People not yet born will be told, the Lord has saved us. A psalm that started so desperately ends with a note of praise. When your people meet, I will praise you. And uh, everyone on earth will remember you. You are in control, the ruler of nations. And it's good in times of adversity to build our faith and be confident that better times will come and we will praise the Lord in the assembly of his people. The Lord is in control. He is the ruler of nations. He will reign upon the earth. Mark 3 verses 31 and we'll read through to chapter 4 verse 29. Jesus' mother and brothers came and stood outside. Then they sent someone with a message for him to come out to them. The crowd that was sitting around Jesus told him, Your mother and your brothers and your sisters are outside and want to see you. Jesus asked, Who is my mother and who are my brothers? Then he looked at the people sitting around him and said, Here are my mother and my brothers. Anyone who obeys God is my brother or mother or sister. The next time Jesus talked beside the Lake of Galilee, a big crowd gathered it was so large that he had to sit in a boat on the lake while the people stood on the shore. He used stories to teach them many things and this is part of what he taught. Listen, a farmer went out to scatter seed in a field. While the farmer was scattering the seed, some of it fell along the road and was eaten by birds. Others fell on thin rocky ground, quickly started growing, but because the soil wasn't very deep, when the sun came out, the plants were scorched and dried up because they did not have enough roots. Other seed fell where thorn bushes grew and choked out the plants, so they did not produce any grain. But a few seeds did fall on good ground where the plants grew and produced 30 or 60 or even a 100 times as much as was scattered. Then Jesus said, if you have ears, pay attention. When Jesus was alone with the twelve apostles and some others, they asked him about these stories. He answered, I have explained the secret about God's kingdom to you, but for others I can only use stories. The reason is, these people will look and look, but never see. They will listen and listen, but never understand. If they did, they would turn to God and he would forgive them. Jesus told them, if you don't understand this story, you won't understand any others. What the farmer is spreading is really the message about the kingdom. The seeds that fell along the road are the people who hear the message. But Satan soon comes and snatches it from them. The seeds that fell on rocky ground are people who gladly hear the message and accept it right away. But they don't have any roots and they don't last very long. As soon as the life gets hard or the message gets them into trouble, they give up. The seeds that fell among thorn bushes are also people who hear the message. But they start worrying about the needs of this life. They are fooled by the desire to get rich and to have all kinds of other things. So the message gets choked out and they never produce anything. The seeds that fell on good ground are the people who hear and welcome a message. They produce 30 or 60 or even 100 times as much as was planted. 
Jesus also said, You don't light a lamp and put it under a clay pot or under a bed. Don't you put a lamp on a lampstand? There is nothing hidden that will not be made public. There is no secret that will not be well known. If you have ears, pay attention. Listen carefully to what you hear. The way you treat others will be the way you will be treated, and even worse. Anyone who has something will be given more, but those who don't have anything will lose what they have. Again Jesus said, God's kingdom is like what happens when a farmer scatters seed in a field. The farmer sleeps at night and is up and around during the day. Yet the seeds keep sprouting and growing, and he doesn't understand how. It is the ground that makes the seeds sprout and grow into plants that produce grain. Then, when the harvest season comes and the grain is ripe, the farmer cuts it with a skickle. So here we have some instances and stories from the life of Jesus. First, his mother and brothers come and try and uh, persuade him to come out. Notice that they didn't go in for him. They sent a message for him to come out to them. How many people uh, are like that with God? Instead of coming and seeking him humbly, demand that he comes down to us. Then we have the story about the uh, the seed that, that, that fell on the road, on rocky ground, among the thorns and the good seed. We pray that God will make our lives to be the good ground in which the seed takes root and grows. And when we preach, we, pre we, sh we share the seed of the gospel with others, but it is God's spirit that causes it to grow. Not our effort, not our hard work, but God's spirit causes it to grow. We work hard to plant the seed in the lives of people, yet we don't understand how it is that it grows up and produces a crop for eternity. Our Father, we pray that we will be found humbly seeking you today that we will be humble before you. Lord, we pray that you will cause us to be the kind of ground that produces fruit. And Lord, as we share your gospel with others, we pray that your spirit will anoint the seeds that we plant. And Lord, we will see a harvest produced, not of our doing, but of yours. And so, Lord, we ask that you will bless today and bless all of the activities in which we engage, that, Lord, we may be increasingly your people in jesus name amen god our creator who in the beginning commanded the light to shine out of darkness we pray that the light of the glorious gospel of christ may dispel the darkness of ignorance and unbelief shine into the hearts of all your people and reveal the knowledge of your glory in the face of our lord and savior jesus christ who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.